Ecuador impacted my life in probably every way possible. Before my bridge year, I was planning on coming to school as a French student, and I was going to pursue a psychology major. So, and now I'm Spanish and Global Studies, which is completely different. It also really opened my eyes to the world and how different it is, and being outside of my comfort zone really pushed me to look at things in a different way. I was really challenged by the Spanish language. Um, I would mix up French words with Spanish words and get looked at funny a lot. <laughs> After kind of getting over that and grasping at least the basics of Spanish, I came to the conclusion and I was able to realize that these are people that have opinions, that have perspectives, that have things to say that are important. And without the language, those perspectives would be completely closed off to me. Things that people told me while I was there, I've been able to draw on here. Um, I've been able to take away perspectives and share them with my friends and my family. And in that sense, I think it's really important. If I hadn't done that, then I wouldn't know those things, much less would I be able to share those things with other people. When I was working, or I guess volunteering in the school, it was very clear to me, and I learned very quickly, that their education system was totally different from ours. Um, and I found myself even accusing teachers and thinking things that were, you know, related to why are you doing it this way when you could be doing it that way, or things would be better if we did it like this. But then I learned to take a step back and realize that this is the way that it is, and this is the way that it has been, and that it probably always will be for that particular school that I was in. And the most that I could do was watch and learn from the teachers that were working there and from the things that they had to tell me regarding the students and the way that they taught their classes. And I think that that was really important for me just because I realized my own biases and prejudices in the way that we do things here, in the way that I've been taught to think. And so being able to stop and realize that the world does things differently than the way that we do is really important. Um, and I think it's something that is looked over a lot. Also just realizing that not one form of education is better than the other and acknowledging that because these kids that I was working with are learning the same things that we learned, you know, in elementary school and middle school and high school. They're coming away with the same facts and knowledge that we did. The outcome is the same, but the ways of learning are different. And I think it's important to realize that we have common goals, but different ways of getting there. For me, school has always been really challenging. It was always a lot harder for me to make good grades and studying the ways that I needed to even though I went to classes and I was always there, it gave me the opportunity to learn in a lot of ways that were outside of the classroom. Um, you had to really draw on yourself and draw on the things that you knew in order to learn how to live, I guess. And I guess that's what, that's what makes me recommend Bridgers to other people as well because that's basically it. You're just learning outside of the classroom um, and that's a whole different kind of learning that we don't get to experience very often being able to be okay with being outside of my comfort zone. Here, classes are the same, you have a routine, you are in your own little bubble, and you don't really think about if everything were to turn on the head and you were to be in a different country and speaking a different language, doing things differently than your everyday life, how that would change you and how that would affect your way of thinking. So it just puts you in a different position and forces you to think in different ways.